differently heading into this game? No. No. Just I mean, I would be really satisfied back. with just the exact same game, maybe seeing uh, more from the other players. Uh, we were pretty focused on Aiden just because his eliminations were so high and then yeah. we focused on Cloaksy, but we missed Poach. Like getting those eight eliminations, like that's nothing to be joked about. That takes a lot of different duos that you're running into and dominating. And so I think just making sure we get a good eye on everyone else this game. Yeah. More opportunities for more people to slay out. I want to see five people going into next game with two times gold suppliers. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> but um, that also means there's a lot of people who aren't getting close to that four. So you have to right. realize that when you see people that are getting over eight or that 12 or that 14, they're denying other people the opportunity to get that one point. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And I mean, I think you kind of bring up a good point earlier. Uh, there's a lot of incredible talent here. Um, even just over the last few days, I've just kind of like been, you know, going through Twitter and watching people post clips. And uh, I feel like, and this is something I kind of wanted to touch on for a little while now, but after PAX, I feel as though a lot of these players, there's almost like a spark that's kind of been, a, fl a flame, if you will, that's been lit inside them, that they're like, I want to be the best. And every day you see these people committed and, and improving. And that's what you see here, right? I mean, again, day one of week three, and they want that prize like, pool. Of course. <laughs> on top of that, you've got the club points. So yeah. there's there's multiple things, there's multiple factors. So like, I want to be the best. I also want to be the best for my club so we can all walk away with something cool. I love that. I love the idea of the clubs because it's creating a lot more connections between uh, players. You see a lot more people practicing together. Is Loot Lake moving? It's just a good time moving. together. No, I think it's stationary. It, def it definitely moved a little bit since it last game. It moved a little though. bit. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. guy is on the move. Listen. Uh, where is you know, it did going? You know, uh, this is <laughs> where is it going? <laughs> uh, the community dubbed the cube Kevin. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, Kevin. So that's actually so Kevin Kevin's the kingdom. Map. Okay. Yeah, the floating island is Kevin's kingdom. Okay. That's dubbed by the community. There you go. Great job, community. Great there you go. at naming things. Back over to the Tilted Towers. Oh, Nick Burks is very like much alive. what I like to see, as long as Aiden and Nick are alive, we are in for some entertainment. Unless Nick decides to rift away and get one-shotted. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, so, yeah, let's, taking a look at the loadouts, they don't have much. They're Ooh, C's getting the knock on KP5. I believe Dingle's teammate is C's. Or Dingle's teammate is KP5. So it looks like he's getting a little bit of revenge this game. Oh, and Cloak, Cloak is down. Oh, that is not what you like to see. Uh, <laughs> when you're in this game. Oh, and uh, wow. he's finishing off Dingle. Looks like he's going to go for the res of Tenaris. And, yep, great. there you go. I'll wow. go Fortnite. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Don't forget, uh, Kitty is a Fortnite. So uh, she'll be a, maybe a little biased. I'm not biased at all. <laughs> <laughs> Over to the truck stop. Looks like Vape Jesus is here. And uh, so keep in mind, Crispy and Cloaksy were on the duo from before. They were the ones that dropped okay. 14. So this is a lot of pressure on Crispy now. They do have that two times multiplier. They definitely want to see it be used. So it's up to him now to try and get those four eliminations, maybe get that one point, turns into two. Um, but he's, it's going to be interesting to see what he decides to do. Is he going to try and get aggressive and go against these two or maybe get better positioning and then go for some third parties because he's only a solo. Uh, but it looks like he does want to fight these two. Or they want to fight. They want to <laughs> fight Jesus him. Jesus is pushing him. Oh, oh and he Jesus. gets a great shotgun on him, looking to get the finish. But again, you're only getting those points if you get to four. That's so right. him getting that finish, and if he risks his life, there's still no points. Oh, he clips him once. Oh. And yeah, so that's a little difficult. Zhao just going down to Saf. Um, so yeah, it's not what you like to see when you have the teams with the two times multipliers. It's definitely going to be very frustrating for them. I don't want to hear what their comms are like right now, but I mean, it happens. And it happened to Kinstar earlier today. So hopefully they'll just have another opportunity at that two times multiplier and then they can move that into more points later. But now we are here and uh, Requiem is alive. Requiem, Requiem. 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 Yep. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> we can do this together. Because I know he died really early in Tilted. So Cease yeah. was actually left on his own for a while. So Cease has the support of his teammate, Nick Merckx and Gronky sitting in the, the tower over there. Oh, and Tifu getting aggressive on uh, Morgausi. So yep. they must have already, oh, they have zero eliminations, but it doesn't look like Janet's anywhere to be found. Oh, they're splitting them. So if you look to the left on the mini map, I think that's Janet. 
All the way on the left. <laughs> on the left of the mini map, that little green marker is Janet. Margosi is this one right in front yeah. of us. Oh, Tifu immediately I mean, lasers him. Yeah, you do not want to be on the other end of Tifu with an assault rifle. Yeah, no. Oh, it looks like he does eliminate. Oh, okay, so Janet was just knocked down over there. They left her and went for the finish. So they are out of this. I think but. that's kind of smart, you know. If you if you've got the down anyway, just trail down the uh, track down the second player well, and they get the elim. 100. percent Yeah. They don't they don't need need it. Um, but especially in a place like Shifty, you know, there's there's not a lot of opportunity uh, for that early Ooh. third party. You know, a lot of people are gonna be focused around tilted. So Ninja knocked out Gubba. That must mean that Ninja and Doctor Lupo are probably oh! looking to face off pretty shortly. Renee going down to Thiefo. Tendons and Dubal. I mean, this is a, a lot of time spent for these two kills. And I know as Aiden, oh, King Richard King Richard getting Lupo. shotgun Lupo. Yep, that's it, they're Hate out. It. So uh, Lupo and Ninja, they faced off. Ninja <laughs> wins this round. Tendons drop super low, there you go, he's down. Yeah, now if, they're trying to follow up. If we know Aiden, Aiden does not like to spend too much time getting these eliminations. So I'm sure they're like, that took too long. Yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. get healed up quick. Actually, they're pretty good on health. And now they're going to be moving on to hopefully find Nick and Cease. Yeah, so look, Nick is by just himself. quietly looting. Oh, no, Gronky is there. So you got uh, CDN versus Nick versus Aiden. Yes. And they are full duos. So there's six people Should still alive and tilted. And here's Reverse with Capron. Seeing what they can do over in Snobby. It's Bold. so nice when you have that early purple assault rifle. It's yeah. just. <laughs> you're good to go. You're like, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're feeling really good. And it looks like Ooh. they're choosing to rift. But again, if, if they heard this um, and you have a purple assault rifle, you should be taking shots. There and now you, you hear them coming out. Because you're just, you're so vulnerable when you're flying like that. So sometimes the choice to do that isn't the best one, but it looks like it paid off for them. Heading in towards northern zone. They're just looking to make some rotations. And, and you know, Kitty, it's interesting because currently looking at how many players left alive, it's still 77. So one of the things we saw for EU is Ooh. like right around, you know, now we're getting, oh, actually, hold on. Chaotic, spicy, Ooh. Tifu fights. It's a spicy it's a build -off. Uh, fight. <laughs> it's a spicy <laughs> fight. 72 hours oh, here. Oh, looks like someone's taking down the build. 72 hours getting a shot on Chaotic. Tifu's partner, now it's left for him. One versus two. I mean, Exotic he, he's down. definitely capable of this. It looks like 72 hours is also sitting very, very low after fighting. Um, yeah, looking for that right angle on the RPG. He's just trying to locate and see where Tom is right now. And you can see, because he's super low. If he if he gets an explode off, it's going to be pretty disastrous. Yeah, I don't think he has any more RPGs left. He does have those stick grenades to work with. Takes Taking a bit of fall damage. It's OK. Tifu very quickly recovers. Look, down Doesn't low. look like he has any healing either. Otherwise, I think he would have used it by now. So. If he's so, oh well, spicy they both is have taking med kits. okay so he's just denying him the time oh and we've got two other squads headed in oh look at that they're getting close um it's they smooth. do have access to that vent I don't know if uh, one of them would want to use could. it get up get down shake it around town <laughs> <laughs> Zayt getting a there shot on go. Snood so Zayt's one of those teams pushing in so. The guys that were sitting in the port of fort, I believe, the ones to the north, they're getting pushed on by Valkyrie and Zayt. Meanwhile, Spicy was able to, was able to get off that med kit. Um, I wasn't actually able to see if 72 hours was able to get off his. Uh, in the kill feed, we saw destroy Aiden's teammate go down. Okay. And Zayt finds Snood and Melly Pastel. Yeah, we can see that board with the kill count. That would be great. And then we can uh, see if they were able to do anything with their two times multiplier. Tifu still sitting on no health. Ooh, <laughs> goes for the disengage. Rotates in, trying to get up to get Tifu down. Tifu doesn't need any health. You're right. He's fine. Ooh. Very close. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Special delivery. Wow. The nice thing about that island, too, is the way that it's formed, there's a lot of little nooks to kind of sneak into and hide. But all right, it looks like there's a lot of people who have joined these guys in Tilted. It went from six, and now I'm not quite sure how many, but 
I see a lot of markers yeah. choosing to make this their home. Little do they know that Nick and Aiden are still here trying to dominate it. Don't forget, Aiden has the two times multiplier, so points coming out of this game will be doubled. DMO yeah. and Camille's making a play Ooh, for the lower end below. of this. But Look, Nick, Nick is patiently Nick waiting. And I mean, I'm sure he hears that Requiem and Seize is very, they're very close. They're right next door to them. I appreciate how uh, patient Nick is. Because very most players are like, ah, there's someone hopping outside. Let's just Wait, take shots. Wait, so Seize is actually just below. Oh! Yeah, OK. I was wondering Impulse. who that. There it is. There it is. Nice play. Cracks Requiem once. They're trying to make a follow up. <laughs> where did They're everyone like, where, get where did pushed it? to? What's, what's happening? Where's everybody? <laughs> Hey, I mean, like, wait, what? What? Oh, Creo taking out Poach with a great fall. Creo's another player that you definitely have to be looking out for. Oh, I have no idea Aiden. how they just survived that. That's very impressive. He Ooh, cracks Demo. Oh, getting man. a nice shot on Demo. Destroy, look, he's going in for the pinch right now. There's literally action happening all oh. over the place. <laughs> it's tilted. What's Late happening? Game. Tilted. Oh, so they found Requiem. So just above them is C's, and I think they know that. Oh, they dropped down, taking shots. I'm sure he knows these guys are low too. They've both been trading shotgun shots. Look Aiden how getting up to destroy. He's doing this. He's just being sneaky about so it. So he was able to get some really nice shots on Demo, um, and I don't, act I didn't actually see when he was. They knocked destroy, but Aiden's in a really bad position right now. He's trying to keep himself alive. Making some really good decisions on build there. Going back in for the aggressive shots. Man, Aiden. <laughs> He's out in the open. Aiden, do you realize oh, how many people you? are in that tower right now? No. And <laughs> look, it's Tipu. He's Apparently there. Not. Is it actually? It's Tipu. He's <laughs> there. He was the one Tifu. cracking him right there. Yep. Oh. All right. Punisher taking out Ninja. King Richard taking out Punisher. So he might be able to actually get that. Uh, revive on Ninja. So, All right. okay. there's still people inside the storm right now. Nick and Tifu are changing. Oh, DMO now has found Tifu. So, Aiden, okay. So, Aiden's still alive somehow after somehow. fighting Some way. a lot of different teams. Um, I don't know if Tifu knows that he's currently lurking in here, but I'm sure he'll hear, hear him pretty soon. C's looking at Side drops going down so to staff. Low. The I ghost org is just so, so strong. The players like Demo and Saf and Demo. Aiden as well. Ooh. Camille's <laughs> takes down I don't Tifu. know. I don't know if he was ex expecting that either because he knows that Aiden's close by too. No way. Okay. I thought he was going to go for a, a play here. Oh. oh. From the hill it's, too. Wait, who was it? Is it Zex Row? Zex Row found Aiden. I mean, that's look at this zone. There's so many players in this area. They don't have very far to go for the next zone. One minute left till that storm starts to move again. So they got plenty of time just to weed each other out right now. And I think that's what they're doing. Smart play from Camille's there. Just keep building, keep DMO alive so you can get the heal off. And look at that. Basically, do work goes down. So it's just HD in a 1v2. They're trying to go for the follow-up. Can they secure the elimination? Before the reload. Oh, uh, Demo HD goes down. getting a good shot on Demo. Oh, oh it's a trap. Not like <laughs> this. Uh, I think he, wow. Camille's might have thought that that was one of Demo's traps because they did put up a couple in their little area. But I don't not think that he saw just in that chaos. It's pretty dark in there. Uh, the trap go up on that side wall. So, oh, Gronky and Nick still alive. They're so very close. Look, HD is on the other side of this brick wall. And there's a few traps in here, so these guys really have to be careful. <laughs> trying to zero See, in. All Look this, this lid on the, the ground. Allude. Yeah, he's like, all right, well, if, I mean, no, no one's going to claim it. I mean, I guess. That is exactly the type of loot pile you want to run into. I'm very surprised that HG didn't decide to pick up any of those resources or ammo, but maybe he didn't see them. Maybe we're around an angle yeah. behind a trap. Maybe he's worried about all the footsteps. Oh, so Nick just went down to uh, the trap. The trap. <laughs> yeah. There's a Probably. lot of traps in there. It's really nice to have that teammate who's alive and ready to pick you back <laughs> up again. <laughs> it's like they're basically next to each other. Nick takes one step and goes down to a trap, and Gronky's like, oh, it's OK. I'm here, buddy. Bizzle's still alive. Got like some Zoof and Net J. 
Joseph as well. Yeah, Bizzle is an incredible player. He's very, very strategic. He's a great fighter, great build fighter. Um, so when he when he makes it to these late games, he's definitely one to look out for. Looks like Zex so Rowe and Alex Rhea, Alexia Ray, rather. Yeah, Someone making the aggressive words. push on these two. They know that Nick was dropped pretty low. They know he's hurt, so they're just trying to close in. Look at that. Yeah, I would, I would hope they would have heard that. Oh, that was HG. Trap. That wasn't even Alexia Ray. All right, so they're getting a little bit of third party. I'm not sure where HG is positioned right now. I think he's this green one just right below the cliff, and he is. Uh, Alexia's still sitting up on the high ground, supporting Zex Row. Gronky's heading in to maybe get the res off on Nick. I mean, the zone is still only ticking. Oh, it's ticking for two now, now that it's met the, uh, the zone. HD. Oh, Gronky was actually lost in the storm. So while Zexro pushed that with the shotgun shot, the final tick of damage was done by the storm. That's right. So that's, I mean, as a player, that is so frustrating. Oh, Creo, what did Look I say? That. Creo and Clarify. Seven eliminations. Creo is a straight boss. When he's, when he's on, he's on. When he's off, he's on. But he's a really, really great player. And those guys only need one more for that extra point. Ninja and King Richard sitting with six. Two more for that extra well, point. They're but. also already eliminated, unfortunately. Oh, they are eliminated. Oh, yeah. okay. Wah, but, wah. I mean, still six eliminations. That's two points. So still points on the board. Yeah. And Sap and Nico Speaking are sitting with four, Creo. too. So there's lots of people who are getting that point. Oh, this is a Creo replay. There you go. Shotguns here, there. And over to them now. They're nearly at Loot Lake. There's still 41 players left. So Creo and Clarify definitely know that these they only need one more elimination for that extra point. So they're going to be playing super aggressive. I don't think that's changing from their play style earlier. Creo's definitely an aggressive player, makes very good strategic decisions. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how they play this one out. They know they only need one more. But they also probably want those extra three points from that victory royale. Right. Or maybe they're going for that. 14, 14 elimination. Bomb. They're like, we're going to hit 15. Watch. <laughs> I guess, though, they could try it now, and then they still have four games to yeah. try it, you know? Yeah, it would definitely be interesting to hear their comms right now and, and what their decision is to do, because there's a lot of different ways you can take this once you're getting close to that three point uh, with the eliminations. So, ooh, ooh. clean shot HD. on HD. I mean, HD did great. He was solo for a long time. These guys are getting shot on by Creo and Clarify. I oh, and I see uh, Linane and Animal are having a fight out on the docks too. They dropped pretty low from that. Down to 39. Again, Creo needs one more elimination. 39. Like, that's still almost half the lobby. That's. I know. That's wild. There's so many opportunities for eliminations. But keeping that in mind, the storm, once you get this late, oh, <laughs> oh Diggy just Valk knocked himself down. out while knocking Valk out with him. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that's a 1v1 right. over there. That was it's probably pretty happened. interesting and chaotic, but. New safe zone, though. Check it out. It is in the water on uh, Blue Lake. That's something you don't love to see, but players have definitely learned how to use that to their advantage, whether they're getting underneath that flat in the water and protecting themselves. Fuzzy and Flame already choosing to make the push onto the lake. Creo got a knock on Sancho, so they're fighting a new squad right now. I'm sure they know that if they get that finish, that is their eighth elimination, which, I mean, that extra point, every single point is so, so important on those leaderboards. Back over to Creo, so do we, do we have very many people who are still alive with that two times multiplier? Sweet. Let's take a look. Okay, Looks so like apparently no one. Everyone with the two times multiplier has been eliminated. So all of these guys are playing for those eight points for the three limbs, six or seven points for the two, and the four or five with the one. And then for victory royale, you get three points. Second and third gets two, and fourth and fifth gets one point. So that's right. You want you always want a nice come. And there's the format on the side of the screen. It's so nice to be able to get a little bit of both. Yeah, and clarify <laughs> picks up. Uh, rather, oh, Creo picks go. up a so seventh they elimination. The yep, they've got eight. And oh, I think I think that's great though that. You know, they've eliminated all the players with the two times multiplier because they can kind of keep them in check. You know, you're just keeping them from getting out of control. Nobody is going to get too much. Oh, Tina Ray is like one HP. Hang on, Tina. Oh, no, oh she does aspect. go down to aspects. I mean, that's what's hard. So, what aspect did there was they chose to get that spot on the water early. They post it up and then they just have to spam. 
Right. <laughs> They're just spamming anyone that wants to also come on the water with them. And that's a great strategy if you can survive that initial push. So it pays off for them. I'm really that hoping, extra elimination. I'm hoping this new circle goes toward the little... Uh, the center? The I center haven't seen that yet. Really? Uh, it end on the, the new... A little spiral down. Yeah. So yeah. You, like, you hop down, it just like spits you back down. Pretty cool. Sex row, getting a knock on fear, finishing him off. There you go. They Creo are nine. Is with nine. Yeah, I knew that Creo did have that knock that he was probably waiting That's to 10. get finished. All right, 28 remaining. Creo is a total fragger. He is doing an amazing, amazing job. <laughs> Look at that. What? What? <laughs> They have so many. So clarifies oh, currently team does go down, down, and it looks like he's going to be finished, finished off. That's right. So that's ten. So he definitely knows from the last game that fourteen was the highest. If he can get five more eliminations, which, I mean, five doesn't seem like a big number, but when you're in a lobby like this against and this skillful players, a lot of the skillful players remain still. It's it's not a walk in the park, but if anyone can do it, Creo is definitely one. Diggy goes down to Fuzzy. Looks like. You see 72 Fizzle's hours. Still, still alive on that high ground. What's new? Oh, the name. Choosing for the, the grapple. big grapple. Makes the cross. Sex row, three. He needs one more. Oh, and Creo just got shotgun. So, I mean, 10 eliminations is great. They'll be really happy with the three points that they got. And uh, Tom and Bizzle with three. Yeah, Bizzle just eliminated 72 hours. So, Tom has been eliminated. Hi, Tom. Bye. Miss you, buddy. Uh, but look, they need one more. So if they can find one more, that'll put them on the board with one point, just like you talked about. There's still 21 players left alive. Uh, and these guys have incredible positioning. Yeah. They're able to, like, these guys are so in the center right now. Are, they have a lot of sound. You hear people oh. above, you hear people below. Um, all you're focused on is just staying alive. Noticing that new circle, knowing that you have to move soon, it's 100% out of the old circle. And uh, then you've got the rain of fire <laughs> from above. <laughs> and it looks like they actually picked up another two eliminations, so they're currently at that, almost at the second threshold. Lenane goes down. They had 10 eliminations. So, yeah, aspect and Lenane picking up a lot of eliminations in that final zone. Like I said, it's chaotic, but if you're part of it and you come out on top, you're going <laughs> to. You're gonna have a lot. Yeah. So looks, we got two more, uh, two times multipliers coming that's right. in. That's amazing. So it looks like Aspect and Lenane and Creo and, and Clarify going into the next game of times two multipliers. That's amazing. So of the Ooh. remaining players, the top uh, raggers are Psalm and Bizzle. They've got a total of five now. So they're sitting in that nice one point range. If they get one more, they'll be up into the two. And then if they get eight, they'll get that three. But Bizzle's the type of player that's definitely going to be looking for the eight. At the same time, he really highly values that top three, number one finish. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have to see what they choose to do. But, I, like I mean, there. six people remaining. Uh, yeah. And they're all just lot. nice and below them. They can just keep this high ground. Psalm has lots of materials still. A great number of... Oh, doesn't look like the best number of ammo, though. But Ooh. there you go. So... <laughs> this <laughs> net is practically at the bottom of this build, but he can still get lasered down on from Bizzle if he finds the right opportunity. He tries to top off with the mini, but he's immediately so that's punished. Six. That's six for Bizzle and Psalms. So that moves them right up into that two point elimination spot. Go Fortnite! 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 Now, here's the thing he does have the slurp juice. He needs to try and just. So is that a, that's not his teammate below. Okay. No. Yeah, that was uh, no. any to any. Zex row All right, is so I'm getting another limb. So that's seven now. Okay. They're one away. So Bizzle and Son. The way that Bizzle plays, he's not going to go for the record. He's just going to go for that eight limbs and that victory royale. He want if he's getting points, he wants all the points. All the points. All the points. Look, Valkyrie and Zayd are still down below. They're alive. So is Zoof. It's a 2v2v1. That's an incredible performance by Zayt and Valkyrie, able to survive till that top three spot in two games now. Uh oh. Um, but uh -huh. again, here we go. This uh -oh. is the fun part. They're fighting the mountain. Oh, and they got him. Kitty, we talked about what the did mountain. I tell it's you? too strong. Wait, so does that mean Zoof? It must be Zoof yeah. is the only oh, one. Uh, like, right now, this is Bizzle and Psalm's game. And it is. Zoof just went down to storm damage. He slid down the mountain. And like I said, Bizzle is. Well, Psalm got five kills, but Bizzle's an amazing, amazing Wait, so player. so they got eight. 
Kitty, they got eight. I know. Eight. What did I tell so you? So they got the eight eliminations and the victory out. So I got six points.